I would like to tell you that when I first became aware of our beloved Saint Germain, you can see your twin flames and the causal body in this painting which depicts the reunion in the causal body, which we're going to celebrate in this. Anyway, at the age of 18, I was going off to college, leaving my home in New Jersey. And I prayed a prayer to God and said, if there's anything you've placed in my home of which I've not availed myself, please tell me. I'm leaving now. I'm expressing my gratitude for my parents and everything that has been done for me, but I won't be coming back. I wanted to be sure that I definitely had not missed anything, any clues to my divine plan that I had to know about. And God spoke to me and said to me to take a certain book off the shelf in my mother's library and to read it. And I had seen that book since I was tiny. And the book always had a presence and an aura that frightened me. It seemed that it was so intense that I was afraid to take it off the shelf. And I would walk around it and look at it and then tiptoe away. So this day, I had to be obedient to that because I had made the prayer and God had answered. So I could do nothing else but take the book off the shelf, open it up, and I saw the face of Saint Germain. And that face became alive and quickened by his presence. The spark went through my being. I leapt. I couldn't believe that I had found this master whom I recognized instantly. And I ran to show the picture to my mother and I said, here is Saint Germain. I know him. I've got to find him. I know I have a mission that has to do with him. So she said she knew him, but she didn't tell me about him before because I should find him for myself. Well, I set out to find Saint Germain for myself, and it took me five years to find him, even though I would walk and talk with him and Jesus every day. And I thought to myself, there must be really something wrong with you that you are not finding this master. Because I knew when the pupil is ready, the teacher appears. So what could I do to get ready? I would pray. I would do everything I knew how to do. And I realized that the key to meeting the master had to be obedience. So I decided to listen to the voice of God within with all my heart and to respond to that voice and to obey immediately. And I thought as one thing would lead to another, if I would always obey the voice of God, I would get nearer to him and to the master. At this point, I wasn't even aware that there was such a thing as a twin flame. And I had a one-pointed goal in mind, and that was to find the teacher. The teacher who would give to me what I could not receive directly from the octaves of light. I received a lot from Jesus and Saint Germain, but there were things I had to be taught. And our karma gives us a certain spiritual blindness. So we do not see in ourselves what the teacher points out to us needs correcting. So in 1961, by a long circuitous route, I had found students of the Ascended Masters in Boston. They invited me to a meeting and told me that a man by the name of Mark Prophet, who was a messenger for the Great White Brotherhood, was coming to town to give a lecture and a dictation. And I leapt. I was so excited about such an event that I should hear a dictation from the Ascended Masters. And as I entered that room and I sat in my seat that night, and I looked up at him. He was sitting at the altar in meditation. And he opened his eyes and looked at me. And I looked into those eyes. And I found the pair of eyes that I had been seeking my entire life. Those eyes spoke to my soul. And I knew that I had found my teacher and the one that was going to quicken in me the divine memory, what I had to do in this life, how I was going to do it, the teaching I needed to know, and the self-mastery of my being. Before the service started, I then closed my eyes, and he took me in meditation to the higher octaves, and I saw the whole world filled with daisies in the field. And these daisies were the faces of souls, souls who had forgotten where they had come from, who were of God but needed to be quickened. And I knew that I had to go and find every single one of them and give to them the teaching that would remind them of who they were and where they came from. So I knew I had to be a student before I could be a teacher. And so, not long after that, 
El Moria appeared to me in a park in Boston, stood before me in his intense reality of the sternness and fiery presence of the Ascended Master, and he simply looked at me and said, I have need of a feminine messenger. Go to Washington, and I will train you through Mark Prophet. And with that, he transferred to me a fiery coil of light and was gone. So my path and course were set. But that night that I met Mark Prophet, he delivered a dictation from Archangel Michael, which liberated me and cut me free. I knew to fulfill my divine plan, and I felt the light and the empowerment of it. The next thing that happened is that some time later, Mark informed me that we were twin flames. And it was almost an oddity to me that here I have found my teacher, and now he is telling me he is my twin flame. And so I thought, the cosmos is going to have to give me truth, the proof of this information. So I called to El Moria, and I said, I would like to have proof and evidence of this which I am being told. And so I made that call and I went about my business. And by and by, one day, I looked into the mirror as I was getting ready to go to school. And into that mirror, I saw the face, not of myself, but of the Holy Christ self of Mark Prophet, himself in that exalted image. And it was such a shocking experience because I saw my own inner Christ self, and I saw that he was the mirror image of it. And this affected me profoundly to the core of my being. I had the inner proof that we were actually one at the highest levels of our being. So what happened was is that I went to be trained as a messenger. Mark told me he would not be on Earth very long, but he was here to do that very thing, to train me so that the mantle of prophecy could be passed and the teachings would go on. He stayed with me longer than he said he would. He stayed for 12 years. We were married and we had four children. And suddenly in 1973, he took his leave of this world. He passed on suddenly. And a number of days later, I saw at inner levels his reunion with his I Am Presence and his ascension. So I am one of you here whose twin flame is ascended. And I can tell you that the most influential person in many lifetimes, probably since I knew Jesus Christ, was Mark Prophet. He was the most spiritual man I have ever known in this life. He was profoundly and deeply one with God, had a profound compassion, and knew the mysteries as they were part of him. He was a wonderful teacher. And he truly knew how to tutor and refine my soul to re give me the disciplines and the initiations that came from the masters. So after his thorough training and El Moria's thorough training, St. Germain received me, and I knelt before him, and he placed upon me the mantle of messenger of the Great White Brotherhood. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030, USA.